Hold on one second. Hello, hello. Hi, Facebook. Is this Nancy here? Welcome to our live tutorial brought to you by Glitter Sicily and such. So excited and happy Wednesday. Hope everyone have a great Wednesday. Give me just one second. I'm trying to sharing it on the Facebook and Instagram. Hope everyone have a great day. Happy Wednesday. We have so many uh, new things. We can't wait to update it with you. And then we're working on the scheduling. And we're going to have a lot of cool updating regarding to our streams, our lives with different contents throughout the week. And we'll give you like way a heads up. So then that way you can absolutely follow and tune in with us hello debbie hey hi is patty how are you hi jolie hey debbie hey rika thank you so much everyone for tuning in give me one second happy wednesday this is the nails that we did last night live tutorial with quite long nails as I shape it as a coffin but today I have an idea so then I have to say that I'm gonna skip into the long nails again in stilettos haven't been done it for I think a long time I think we're always doing a coffin I really enjoy doing a coffin so if you would like it if you like the stiletto or it's kind of mountain pick or pointed let me know hi CC hi do 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 so do see do see Those. Those. Hey. Hey, Eric. Hello, hello. Thanks so much for tuning in. I'm going to give it a couple minutes and I'm just trying to share it quick. And then we can uh, start the live tutorials shortly. Hey, Sophia, Em. How are you, Em? Dolores. Thanks so much for tuning in. Hey, 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 everyone from Facebook to Instagram. Hey, Bella. Thank you so much for tuning in. Hey, Bella, say hello to you. E Creations. Hey, thank you so much. We've been brainstorm with everything today. So we're gonna have a different schedule. We are updating with everybody soon, and um, we are updating update and then kind of uh, reorganize this our like streams studio so then we can able to streamings and i can see you well maybe i have to say it you can see me so then sometimes you always wonder is what i'm doing uh for sure that not gonna be in my jammy when you see me so i'm excited about that so we're able to probably we can able to stream so many platform at the same time we know that a lot of you are watching YouTube. If you are watching YouTube and after the live stream, thank you, thank you so much for the love and support. And I hope, we also hope that I can bring some cool technique to every single of you. So we probably might able to stream YouTube, Facebook, and Instagram at the same time. And you can also see my face. Maybe you see my hands down someday. If it's too hot, then I'll have my hands, you know, on the ponytails or picky towels or whatever it is. So. I love, I wish that we can all, maybe on one of this day, we can have a group of Zoom. I don't know, I know that Zoom can hold, feed it up to 75 of us. Maybe we can't. And maybe it's mingle a group so they can all see each other. Hey, Mia, how are you? Uh, hi, Nene. Hi, Kuchios. Hey, how are you doing, Nene? Nail art, hello. Uh, where did you get those nails? This nails? We made them. Pro lovers. So we have this on our website. Like it's kind of steel letters. So I shape it though. Can you get me one of the original ones? So I shape both sides. So it looks more like, um, like precise. And then actually before I shape, so I cut them. Let, let me show you how it is because we've been doing like steel letter pointed this for like how long? Almost 
Oh, uh, two years, almost three years old. It's three years old. Over three, over two years, almost three years. So, and recently I changed it. So basically I do, if you want to do this on the salon, since you are asking, and I just, really simple, you can get this and just cut on the tips off. If you want to do a simple like this at the salon when you're doing the nail arts for the clients, and all the color charts, I'm gonna show you the little draw knob that you can get it from a store to place them. Um, and then just shape on the side to make a little bit more um, precise if you don't want to. I don't think it's any a big problem at all and it absolutely still okay. But if you want to be a little bit more um, slender, you can. It doesn't matter however you would like to do. Especially if you're doing a gel polish, you can um, shape them a little bit narrow, more precise than when you polish it. This doesn't look like too bulky on the side. Same with you doing a liquid and powder. Okay, it looks a little bit better. So the original one is, no, hold on. The original one is like that. So we change the shape. Hey, Mama Dick, how are you? So I'm going to dust this off. This is just something, a quick tips and trick that if you want to do that for your color chart, you might want to do that like say one chart in short nails and one chart in coffins and one in stiletto, however you would like it. So we did that. That's how it turned out like this. You can really like do it yourself. Nail design times. I know. <laughs> E-creation. I know. It's just it's so many. Hi, China. How are you? Thanks so much. Hi, Sophia. How are you, Am? Okay, so I have four nails that I prepared. And then there's two nails I was doing. Let's move this. If you're missing this, this is fun. Yesterday, we did it. It's really simple. We did it's hollow, big, huge. I think it's biggest on earth butterflies this one is holo butterflies and we also have a giant butterflies with like a solid one so this is a whole effect so you can see that we did it yesterday so if you are um if you miss this you can absolutely watching them again from our facebook page or igtv so that's just four nails, and we did. It's really cool and fun. We did with finishing with crystals placements, and then we're using a lot of baby mix jars. If you are first time tuning in, hello Bella. Thanks so much for tuning in. So if you miss it, you can absolutely go to our post, recent post, regarding to the baby mix jars contest. It's fun just from one of these jars for instance if you pick that jars and create something i think this one got a little bit mixed up because i spilled it but hey let me show you something is better if you like hold on where is it you have one of this jar like obsidian which is i'm gonna open it with you today this is in our current packaging but you soon will get this you winning you are the ones is a winner for the baby mix jar so you will receive a whole entire full set of 12 baby mix jar with all 12 different colors so more information more details it will be on our post with baby mix jar so simple really fun and easy it shouldn't be that difficult it's gonna be like a more fun for to play and to be really unleash your potentials and just let your creativity is like really loosen it and enjoying it. So I can't wait because if you like it so much, we can do so many different. Like maybe maybe next time is me. Next time will be something related to Halloween's form a charms mix. You never know. Who knows? So we're gonna have so much fun. Push your chicks on. I know if I got the, thank you so much now, Bling Sandra. 
uh, that is on the baby mix job post so we have a whole month like from now until October 22nd so basically you can do it on the swatch you have if you already have one of this baby mix jars you can feel free to create anything with this you can design so many nails out of this you can't if you have one you can do one you can have 10 you do 10 if you have 12 of them you can do 12 nails doesn't matter but post single time like if you do that we just want to separate them if you want to count as the entry so if you, you want to be 20 entry you post 20 different picture we want to see each picture it doesn't have to be required like you do 10 nails or four nails five nails or like it had to be it doesn't have to be on human's hand it can be on swatch like that because you know what if you create it guess what happened it's gonna be so much fun you can't uh keep that for your salons and show them off with your clients um like this you can get this uh drawn up basically from any places you can go to lowe's home depot target tj maxx wherever that's your local store you can do and then just stick them together this can hold like it depends on the longer schools you can hold probably about 25 uh swatches here but some of them you can hold 10 or you can make it shorter you just like get it shorter in one so if you can put it there and in this place and you can note it how much the price gonna be for each nails you can absolutely put the prices on there if you would like to and then you can display it so it doesn't matter how many nails you want to swatch you want to do design with the mix jars you can do 10 of them in the same like colors but different look or you can have if you have 12 of them you do 12 nails that will be great because you only not only is showing off with us also you can share with your clients and then they can see your designs as well so so this is fun so you can do it in your place and then you can swatch it out or change it in different season we have um it's a halloween sis hmm? is, do you have a halloween color chart uh the design chart um we have it go by different seasons though so we have halloween we have new year we have christmas we have like muddy grass this is this halloween so we are ready for the season so i have it all out and display it so then the clients can see what we are able to offer them and then this is the winter nails here's the randomly but this is the winter nail so after halloween thanksgiving christmas we're doing like have a winter nails right here and then this is a new year we have i think we have christmas there do we and this is gonna be new year. so you're gonna see me do a lot of tutorials and also we are organizing a lot of scheduling so we're gonna reset what day we are going to do a uh, liquid and powder acrylic what day we are going to do poly gel, what day we are going to do dipping nails, and what day we're doing a 4D gels, and what day we are doing gel painting, what day we are going to do a freestyle nail art. So please stay tuned. So then that way you can have so much fun with what's gonna come. Like this one, I'm really obsessed with this. We're gonna definitely doing it again. If you're missing our live tutorial, you can absolutely view it on Facebook or Instagram, but we can always like, create something new this one is really is stunning i love this with um glitter you know what is this gonna be cool we're doing this in the background like orange and the um glitter uh sugar glitters can be a black colors or yeah we can do that yeah that's gonna be stunning for halloween though yeah. so absolutely that's how we do and then that's how it draw a lot of attention from the clients and they love it and they're like oh Nancy I want this I have the clients who see me wearing this on my thumb and they want this they want this one this one is really cool it's one of really one of my favorites one in fall too is created by ours um the floral brush and we're definitely gonna do it if you like it and seeing your request we can absolutely do it again Hello, Keja. Hi, Laurie. Hello, hello. Thanks so much for tuning in. Hope you ladies doing great. Happy Wednesday. And this is stunning buying 40 gels and chanfer foil. So we can create so many different fun. Like this is from um, a school writers. I think is that one too. So this is pumpkins. 
so it's fun and it's super easy simple to create so many <laughs> thanks china thank you thank you hi adela hello thanks so much for tuning in hope you all have a great wednesday um do you yourself jenny we wish we're probably not i not sure if the company want to sell it yet but you never know keep uh stay tuned on that we'll keep you posted um i love love your flowers i ordered oh my god it's, i love it and it's one of them i'm wearing it on my nails right now so okay so let's have fun with the nails today i'm gonna move this one away so then we can work on this so i have this one, this two right here, I'm gonna show you how you can make it like a jelly um, black colors. I'm gonna just put, this is a quick uh, base gel. If you have base gels, you can absolutely do this and then key it for 10 to 15 seconds, depends on the manufacturers and the light LED lamp that you have, so then you can key it properly. So I prep the nails and I shape it. Uh, maybe it's over there. And in the meantime, I will have one of the solid black. It doesn't matter whatever black gel polish you have. Maybe one drop. If you want your like a sheer jelly look to be a little bit more solid, like I mean not too transparent, you can add more or you can add less um, top coat. So either you're gonna do here's a something is cool different technique. So if you want to get a little bit tacky layer, so then you can dab uh, some of your pigments on, then you're using the base gels, clear base gels. If you want to get a, a look of finished look completely finished look either you if you want a matte look then you put the matte top coat mix with that or if you're doing a shiny you can do a no wipe top coat either one so maybe we should try the matte then oh hello mommy oh my god i hope everything's get better china i wish you kali where leave can open So I'm gonna drop, this is a matte top coat, so I'm gonna drop maybe three drop. Just ratios, you wanna do one, three, or four. It really depends on how you want your um, look. Let me, let me try that and then see how it turned out. You can always add more. And then my picker, can I get my two um, brushes? So I am going to using my dot two and mix this. So I would mix it with dot two or sterling tools. You don't want to use a brush and to um, sort that because it will give it a better mix. Okay, let me see. Uh, Tint tip brush. And then I have these two nails already. And I mix this is the matte top coat. So it's good. Hello, mommy. This is my um, no wipe top coat. I'm just gonna clean the brush. See, now I am here with you. So what I do, basically, I don't use any alcohol or I don't use any acetone, only I use it either no wipe top coat um, or uh, base coat. Any gels with no pigments, it will help to release a lot of like um, pigment or residues from the brush. So I am going to That one up that's not bad at all if you want dogger you can absolutely 
to less matte top coat or you can go back again So let me key this one. We'll do another one. Today's going to be a theme is all uh, black colors and white lie. A lot of cool things. I can't wait. And then Chan before black and white. Like say if the clients, you, they're in the theme of black and white colors or black colors. They ha they're not ready to get really scary for the nails yet. Here, that's one for is look matte to me right now because we edit with the matte. You don't want it. You can absolutely doing a no wipe top coat, so it's gonna give you shiny look or the base. Hey Dom. Hey Jackson Beauty. Hello. Hello, hello. Thanks so much for tuning in. Thank you, Kuchu. Hey Dom. Lovely live tutorial earlier. Dom did a really cool and fabulous um Live tutorial. If you missed it, absolutely, you'll be watching them from her IGTV. Hey Dom, do my nails, and Eric's will be on the boards and doing some live videos. I'm excited, Eric. Okay, so you can see that how a lot of pigment on my brush. So basically, I am going to using a no wipe top coat. Doesn't matter, or base coat. Drop it here. I am going to clean my brush. So this is just, for a lot of questions, we've been um, doing a tutorial and show with the brush and everything. So I'm gonna do it again so you can see this. Just in case you had how to take care of the brush and after you clean this, you don't need to using any acetone, alcohol at all because it's gonna ruin your brush. And I'm gonna swirl this to release all of that pigment. You can see that right there. And basically, you can see how it's removed most of your like residues, pigments here. You can do it again to get them completely out because you don't want to get that pigment st stick on your brush. So my second time, Get it off just a little bit more there. You can continue doing until you completely see that is clean for your brush. And after that, just make sure you cap on because if you lay it in here, like if you're doing your clients all day and you forgot, it will clear your brush. I mean the bri bristles because it's had the gel still in there. So I get that all take care. I have this brush for a long time. You can see that it's just weighing, but it doesn't cure anything at all. Just put the cap on. I will need it later, not now, but shortly. So it doesn't, this one, it doesn't have to be really perfect, perfect. I did this too. And then, so you can absolutely do it lighter, like more transparent, or it's a little bit of look like this. And let's see what we're going to do. Cool. I'm going to show you all I got. And I have a black and white chanter foyer right here. 
And then I have one of this, it's really cool. Maybe we're doing it tomorrow with a newest Chantal Foy for Halloween. There's a lot of cool things in there. I can't wait to like showing it and swatch them all with you. All the cool things though. Oh, oh, interesting. Let me let me show. Look at that. Butterflies. <laughs> what is that? The butterfly. <gasps> Look at that. Is that cool? What is it called? This one, though. Huh? Is one blow up? No, it is not. The teeth. Maybe you all know better than me. Oh, hey, we have that spike right there. Actually, we should. We have the real spike, like. Yeah, spiky. Spiky. Spiky skull. Okay. Well, I'm just selling that. So we're definitely gonna do that. Let me know if you wanna see it. We're gonna definitely doing it. But look at this. I'm just showing you this. We don't have anything on it yet. But do you like this? That's it. I mean. If you want to do a look like that, that's what you're going to get. Or another one. Can I get the Can I get the box? Get the box. Okay. Or this look. I didn't put any chant for four yet, so I can show you what it looked like. Can you see it at all on Instagram and Facebook? The white one. So, I took a lot of black one ounce and this oh, this one white one oh this one the white one the white one is also adorable as well so doesn't matter which one you are going with it's gonna be so cute I'm not gonna stop you from being create a lot of like if you change a different angle and you give it a different look of your designs you can have fun all day long and then even this one you can do however you want okay so now you want to see white chandra boy or black white black that looks stunning though you do with and you have lace black oh okay this one it completely look like a lace And you can do like diagonals, you can do it however you want, straight down. Sorry, I'm just testing. Hi, duck babies, white, black. Everybody want to see black. So you can't, you can't win here. You gotta follow with us. And look at this. That one is adorable though. Mm -hmm. Look at that. Who say October is going to black and flowers? Look at that. All right, let's do black and. Can I do this one? Should I do this one? Hold on. Try it. I drop it. Can I get it? Sorry. They're so long and. What this? This one is stunning though. Mm -hmm. Don't want to take this away. Pull lovers. Hey, this one? Now I move so fast and I don't know which one I'm talking about. You this one uh, not yet. Because they're so long. Let me cut them. So then we can pick which one. So this one, the flowers, I did first, I asked. And this one is kind of, uh, looks like a, um, what is it called? Day mask? Mm -hmm. This yeah. pattern. Mm -hmm. And this one is like vise or whatever you call. <laughs> I know maybe everybody call it different, so I might call it the wrong one. There's six of them. Or five of them. That's fine. So this one, this one might be. Anyway, this is so cool and stunning. And this one even like we can do ones with that and one with this black and white. 
Ah, this one looks cute though. Look at that. And it's gonna give you a different looks of like what you, the angle you lay on. See, so I just wanna show you because then you can see it with me under the camera. Okay. So before that, we're gonna do um, chamfer foil. Third one. Third. What is which one? The third. This one. This one. The third one. Yeah, I guess premium chamfer foil if you're doing a regular which is the white bottles you make sure you keep it for 60 seconds or it depends on your LED lamp and I'm gonna apply it on tie the nails here for 30 seconds but if your lamps are required to be longer just follow your lamps um, ask for Three. Everybody go three. Number three. Yes, I think so. I think we did this one is one cuff. So look at that. It's a design. You're gonna go that along. You can go down this design or you can go in up. Absolutely you can draw this. If it take a longer time. This one looks cute though. In the meantime, I'm gonna do the other one. I'm gonna do this one too, so then I can chamfer this. Okay, so we can do this. Should we do this? And another chamfer for you? And hold it straight. go and lay it right on the top of the nails and then I'm gonna like keep it a pressure right in the middle and using my tweezers I think I saved my black ones I have a pink and a black it's really cool because you know I get the pink as I can see that on the a lot of my stuff on my stream station right here It going. This one I didn't have it in there. Which one did I go? Right there, that's how I go. Let me see if I can get this one. Hey, I can't put this one. Can't put everything. So if you don't want anything on for the clients, you can absolutely top coat and it's good to go. But I don't know, let's see what we want to do with this. So I'm gonna using a baby mix jars. What colors you wanna see in it? See on it, let me see, I have I have obsidians here. I'm gonna open it for you. All right, so the second ones, what do you wanna see on this one? This flowers or this look? That one is cool. Even you do have of this. Oh, I'm so, okay, so I'm gonna do this. So if you say something and I couldn't do the designs, that's what we want. I'm sorry, I'm gonna do this and I will do designs. Okay, 
So it's fun to do it for the uh, fall. We're doing my cover back and white theme. Look at that. So we are going to do some fun things here. And see what we have. I have a tons of a ton of a ton of stuff going on right here. My stripes here. This one. Ooh, okay, I'm gonna do that. Or stick on them. I like this so much and I said I'm gonna go ahead and do it for you because I'll pick this one it's from one of designers. But that's draw my attention is the line right there. The chains look. Instead of if your clients can't have the chains like raise up like texture on the nails you can absolutely using this so let me get that one and I get going my using my vector knight cut that I know it doesn't relate it to the um, to designer, but I like the chain so much, so doesn't matter. I'm gonna take that. Can everybody see it? Okay. You can either trim this, or you can using a little the emery board to just shape it. Cute. and then I'm gonna put some crystal in here so then if you're doing the the baby mix jars you can do something fun like this I don't know however you want you can do this and decorate your uh, fun snails on it so that two crystal placement on this too and then we have a lot of fun snails we're gonna do and then we do the next one with fusion ink I have two more fusion inks and maybe butterflies if you want to see more sheer look like this let me know so i will prepare that look at that oh sorry i want crystal so i'm gonna open this super cute um obsidians baby mix jars you can absolutely find these guys on under a five dollars nail art funds with different colors And who are uh, the winners will get those all the mixed jar in this cute newest packaging is special made for you okay I'm gonna open this there are lots in this little baby mix jar so I am going to using condensed glue gels it's really thick density Took me forever to get through this because there's a lot in there and it's thick density, so you don't need to use like a whole of them to get. So I am going to apply it is on over the nails. Uh, blend it really nicely. So first time you might feeling is a little bit. Should we do matte or should we do a uh, shiny? If it's shiny, then we're using no white top coat. If it matte, you're gonna using a matte top coat. Pull over. This is the size of big. Um, at the moment, we have is uh, five ounce. Oh no, it's fifteen. No, it's just five ounce. 15g so it's 15g so you in the future you place to uh, please stay tuned for the bigger size come in but at not at the moment this is the biggest size we have all right so top coats but you need a bigger if this one you have um they are last really good though they are uh they are good they are 15 G 
and say a smaller one. This is a bigger one. So I am going to top shiny though. Oh, I might meet someone say it's mad. All right, let's see what we have in this cute treasure right there. Oh, nice. I might. Oh, there's a lot of going on in there. Can I get the tray there? The tray here. So I am going to put this one on. So if you're having fun with your baby meat jars and the contest is basically so much fun, just create it as whatever, however you would like. I bet it's gonna look so cute. Oh my god, I want this. Sorry. <laughs> it's too big. <laughs> so cute. It's quite heavy though. All right, I can't see it. Let me move it just a second so I can see it from here because it's far away from me. If I keep moving, this my big stone's gonna come me off. I'm gonna wax on my crystal, but it's not gonna. Yeah, I'm at 20 more. You know what? You can put A, B, or you can put this. I just using obsidians. Um, I might using some gold because I have a gold film in there. Mm -hmm. I just want to add some gold in there to make it pop. But you know, hey, you if you don't want that, absolutely is cute already. Pro Lover asks you, how do you come up with freestyle? How I come up with freestyle? Like, how do you do freestyle on the fly? Um, it's a really awesome question. Thank you so much. I used to be really nervous and scared of that, too. Um, basically, when you're doing your freestyle, if you know that you're doing a crystal placement, you want to pick whatever you see in your when you're getting your crystals. You always want to go with, you want to see some essential stones. A centerpiece is the main, like basically you'll say, I was always thinking of it, it's fun to remember. It's like a main, like an entree. And then you have your smaller uh, stones or frames, anything else, it can be your appetizer and dessert, right? So it just complements each other. So you get a bigger pieces first, and you can lay to wherever. You can do a center of the nails in the middle of the nails, or you can use it in right cuticles, or you can do it diagonals, angles, and then you keep adding all different shape to um, incorporate with that. And also make sure that all your crystal is stay nice and close and tight together. Then it's absolutely will keep all the designs it's gonna be stay nice together 
So usually when you do that, it asks, um, give you funds a couple of times, and especially when you're doing this, you wanna make sure them are close together and they're tight together. So it's usually come out really pretty much nice, especially for the freestyle. And it's gonna apply a lot for the basics or advanced crystal placement as well. So it's not only it looks really good together, tight together, also it's help to support and keep all the crystals stay really, really um, uh, last longer. So I am going to using a little piece of paper towers and then I'm gonna wipe it up on the sides quick to keep it nice shape and cure this for 60 seconds. So when you get the baby mix jar, you might have a lot of difference, like a bigger stones. So keep it straight like that, do not move. And I have a lot of crystal right here. I'm gonna put it on the side right there. I am going to use this on that one. However, if you wanna be AB, it's AB's mix jar is always sunnings. I like that as well. A lot, let me see what I got there. So many fun designs there. Oh, can't wait. I'm gonna keep this so I can use it for the rest of them. This one, great. So, should we doing a precision glue shortly? By the end? Look at that, you like that? You can like finish this and then you're done. You can absolutely do this and then enter the contest. See, it's just simple as it is. And fun. So the winner will have a whole a full set of 12 jars. And then I'm gonna do this one. Condensed blue jars again. Really thick density. Mama Vic, you did great. I think you did amazing. So if you don't want to frame this one, I should frame it, but I didn't. You can frame with elastic strips. I'm so obsessed with this, but if you don't want to like, if any of you like sometimes, I find myself not good at like drawing straight those. I absolutely using like the strips, this elastic one. So you actually, you can like stressing it out and you can curse along with the edges of the nails. So I put that on the side right here. And then go ahead and using a no wipe top coat. And floating on the top. Don't want to try to drag them just floating techniques like really a feather touch so then you don't like pull all of your crisp um your condensed blue gels away from the nails i would using that is a b a b mixtures you don't want this one to be standing out Thank you so much, everyone, for tuning in today. Definitely don't have to do... Looks really good. It looks like a samples, but I don't wanna taking away from the beautiful look of the shampoo for design. Look at the flame. 
you don't have to, if you don't want to, absolutely. It's up to you and the clients. There you go. You like it now? Oh, hey, why don't I just do like that? Maybe I just want to do that. And do another, another one's the same size, AB. You never go wrong with AB at all. Just to do in the middle. Great, super happy with this. And we are going to key it this thread, I think. I need to do one of the last one then. Okay, I'm gonna key this. This is how cute and simple it is. Hey, live ass, hello, how are you? Okay, now let's key this one for 60 seconds. Keep it straight for me. Let's having fun with our fusion names right now. I'm gonna get the obsidians. And only I need is obsidian and a uh, crystal clear. Move the AB trace right there. Hey, life ass. Alright, so let me move my. I will need this shortly. This is my first look here. And then here's the second look. I'm gonna shape this on the ends a little bit. It's simple, you can do this. If you want to get so many chance to win, here I'm gonna show you, it's like cool tip and trick. One nails, doesn't matter if one day you create it, like you take a picture, hashtag us, tag us first, and tag one of your besties, so your bestie might get chance to win, and you never know that we, you will like it so much, we keep continue doing all different spuns like, this contest giveaway it's not only is fun and a give it back to our communities also it's fun so then we can able to like have fun learning uh together and challenge each other so then that way we can always growing um and you know uh, learning and improving uh skills and the techniques together so it's just fun and then also you keep this on your in the salon you don't have to mail it into us or you don't need to like even um, do anything else. You just keep it for yourselves as the simple at the salons. So it's just fun. It doesn't have to be crazy fancy. It can be something that you like to do and create that. So, and here this one too. Doesn't matter. You, I, so I created it for my mix jars, baby mix jars, and I can do two nails already. So I'm gonna continue doing it. I don't know how long it's gonna take me to go through this. It's take a lot because I can do even like um, um, diamond dust pixie on the nails as well. So I have the third nails here, and I did, which is I did is I did nothing. Well, this is just a natural. If you want natural, the clients are doing matte top coat. So, and then I need obsidians. And only the bottle I need, I put it over there, which is crystal clear. I just organize it back. Crystal clear. I think I put it back in the shelf, though. I put it back in. I think I just, I just organize it, everything. And then I'll, I can have more space, so then I can just make a mess again. And I'll clean it again an hour later. Crystal clears and then this too. I'm shaking my fusionings really uh, thoroughly so then that way all my pigment is saturated it's on the bottoms of the bottles can be mixed really well. So if you want to be more like obviously you can using uh, white polish underneath. 
I didn't use a real white polish underneath, so I'm using a natural. So if you're doing a natural for clients, make sure you put the base coat first, and then you are using um, the matte top coat. So you want to do a light effect and you're doing a one layer one coat you can do it more by tap it it's like one or two three times however you would like hey lorries and facebook and here is crystal clear that's all you need you don't need any brushes anything else at all and make sure i have a piece of uh, paper towel here and make sure you wipe your brush to almost like dry but not too dry so then your uh, fusionings will not bleeding on you and plus that make sure you clean the brush first before you dip it back in it will keep it really nice and precise so it will not bring back the pigment back into the bottle Let's so just brush that off. And I'm working on this one again. Okay, so if you're like happy with this, then we can move on to it. Great. That's all I need. I did use this, this one and this fusionings crystal clear there are so many uh, fun things on this even like if you don't do in fall time you can absolutely put like a white cherries this is so adorable i just want to show you or like you can do yours like lace on it i don't know if i'm gonna show maybe the black one is will be better uh what the other one like this it will even showing so much better see that but i don't want to cover them i am no i will using this what you want to see look at that Weaver strips. If you don't want to deal with weaver gel, bam, bam, you can do this. Oh, look at that. Why well, let me try that one. I'm curious about that. And I want to, like, what if you can do this one? Look at that. So I'm still there. Hold on. Wrong way. Moon. Star. That's one. I'm gonna do this one. It's so stunning. Or even this one. Let me do the other ones. I like them both. Maybe I'll use your next one. How about that? See, I prepare everything and then I always changing it because I got some things fun that I can't habit or even like this live ass you want to see this live ass probably she like that or are they even the flower stickers and butterflies 
And look at that, what I found. I'm gonna show you. Because I really wanna show you everything I found. It's really cool because it's some of cool stickers collection that has some black um, butterflies right here. You see the black and white? This one is number 25. Black and white's right there. Black and white's here. It's really cool. And then also I found this one here. It's kind of a darker colors and like a yellows, but you can't really see it can be a black too. I just want to show you what I got. So, uh, what is another butterfly in there? Am I missing something? Did I? There's a lot of more. I think I might left it on the other side over there. Okay, so let me, oh here, that's what I'm talking about. This is adorable, but I got some things from, so we can do. This one is so adorable too, the panda. You can put some, um, the um, bamboos here, and then your panda, because we have a good background of uh, fusioning already. Look at this, so adorable panda. So super cute. <laughs> We're probably gonna do some moon stuff in there. And I'm gonna using this. Maybe moon and black butterflies. I'm gonna using that. Maybe once. And go. Okay. They are all separate. So I can't absolutely like using my Zato knife. And then Zato knife will help me go into different. I'm going to do it like that. I'm going to cut that. I'm going to use this. You can absolutely achieve this looks with the um, weaver gels, okay? So if you do weaver gel with this, you can absolutely create that looks. Like you just get one weaver gel and then using your gel painting and a dot two and you dot that, some dot here. Sharp scissor. And then she can do another one. There you go. You can layer them. Doesn't matter. However you would like, you can do opposite side and have fun with this because it's gonna be so simple. If you don't have a weaver gels like handy, you can absolutely have fun with this. I'm so obsessed with those. You can continue doing it more if you want to. Should I go black, uh, white? Oh, no. And butterflies. Oh. Uh, night white. This one, the ones we did. We can do. Moon and star. Should we? It's so amazing. It saved me so much time to like play with this and you can do it with the gel painting. Absolutely. 
I have so much fun with this. One end using to pick it, don't do it like this with me because it's so sharp and the others will rub it for you. Always have full moon too. This is the moon. And do this dollar. Go right in. And then I'm gonna do what? Like shining star. You can do more. Stock, I know you can have so many stars. Do you are prefer. Again, this is so fun. It's thick, save me so much time. You can absolutely do with your painting, which is I did it before as well. Should I do butterflies in the middle, moons, and star? I like the little butterflies. You can put moons in here. I'm going to do it right there. You don't have to. I'm just curious. I put a lot of star in there. Right there. One more. Don't want to be too busy. So now, if you're happy with this, we are going to cut that once with the condensed glue gels. If you want to add some crystal, you can. I might add some crystal in that spot, that's it. Okay, so condensed glue gel. So then that way you are helping completely your stickers. It got to be completely sealed and and capped. So they will never have any issue troubleshooting that is gonna coming off on the edges. And you don't feel the texture of it too after you cap this. So I am using a first step is this content glue gel. And go ahead and go in the white, no wet top coat. If you're using a matte top coat to want to do a matte finish, absolutely it looks stunning as well. You can do a matte finish instead of no white. And feathers, which is just like a light touch floating on the top because you don't want to drag. It looks like I'm pressing it down, but it sure is not. Let's see what I got in here. Oh, look at that car. They don't want another. Really cool. I'm working on my baby mid jar. You don't have to. 
get all of them. That's it. If you want more, absolutely you can. But I think I'm going to just like stop it right there. However, if you want to do this for AV, you absolutely can. Or you know what is going to look good? It's a gold mix. Like if you don't have, you can absolutely use AV. But I have a gold mix jar right in front of me right now. So I'm going to get that. There's so much fun to play with. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah, already. Bella was requesting for glitter taco. Oh, glitter taco, absolutely. Bella, for next one? Probably. You can, we can absolutely do that. Look at that. So I have obsidian, I have a gold. So it looks good. Then we can cure this one. Today is the least crystal nails for me. I love that. Looks really cool though. Cure for 60 seconds. And here's a goal. And I get the obsidian out of here. So move this for seconds. Bella, did you request for the uh, glitter? Mm -hmm. Which one are we doing? Oh, with glitters, we have a hollow and we have a rose gold. The rose gold right there is really stunning. What have I done with this? Probably I stick it some. Look at that, how hollow it is. That's a rose gold. So cool. And the ones I have is silver. Oh, Dom say hi. Look at this. This is everything. There's no wipe. You put it on, it's here, and you're good to go. It's perfect for gel polish. If you don't have all the gel polish and shimmery look, so you can do matte, and then you get one layer of this, and it covers, like, make it shimmery. It looks stunning, though. Next one's everyone, which is the last one. Look what I want to do. Another butterflies and then we're good to go. Just kidding. Because we did this yesterday. So we're going to do something else. Um, oh, let's do a blossom gel. Do you want to see the blossom gel? I will do the blossom gel because we already have a few shining. So I want something different. Sorry, I tried to reach it and then drop it. Thank you. So I will get the blossom gel. Okay, it's really cool. You don't have to necessarily mixing the two colors in the clears and everything. I'm gonna show you something is really cool and fun. So I am going to do is um this one is a natural and I put a matte top coat already. You don't have to because I'm going to do that. And here my gel polish, which is a black color. So whatever you have in the black colors, you can absolutely use similar. And one, drop one coat on it. Let me help you wipe off this one. There, good. And just one. No forever. Let's see who's gonna get that pigment. All right, so. We are going to using our blossom gel. If I have a little bit of gel on my 
do this. Oh. Maybe I should do that. Should I do rose gold? Rose gold? Or try, uh, try silver. Try silver. Okay, I'm gonna do one coat of silver. Let's see how it's gonna turn out. My blossom gel, blossom gel. Okay, here you go. It's so stunning, you're gonna see this. If it doesn't work, we'll do it again. <laughs> But we're doing a blossom gel. If you want your um, gel to be spreading out really fast, you apply it a little bit thicker, but not too thick. But you want to be slow, like um, like spreading. You gonna like apply it a little bit thinner. So I am going to using. Did you wipe this off? Mm. You wipe this. This one off right there. So I am going to using my my dot tool. Okay, I can see it better now because it's so sparkle. And then okay, I can't see it because it's so reflection. Let's use this. Daisy asked you, does they dry fast or no? Uh, dry fast? Mm -hmm. Do you mean they are... Like, do they get cured? Why is just doing that? No, they're not. They're going to loosen like this. So if you want to um, take the time, you don't want to take too much time because they might like running on you. So just apply enough so you don't have to... Um, worry about it's running so just don't do too much of a blossom gel if you don't want them to run it fast like now I mix that my no wipe top coat uh, glitter so I mix it so then it's getting like a look like this but if you want more black then you mix less of a top coat so it's just like a fleck of clears great Just a little bit here. It just spread it for you. It's basically it doesn't work for you already. Okay, so you're happy with this? We are going to cure this one for um, 60 seconds. Wipe off on the side. Looks really, let me show you closer. Really cool, stunning. Great. But don't mix them, don't stir them up like I did it earlier with mixing the um, kind of jelly look. Just you kind of saw them. Like, uh, just don't blend them together. So if you blend them together, it looks like all black color so you, it doesn't turn out the way you want. Just like using your dot tool or the stoning tool and make that effect. Hey, thanks so much. Uh, thank you so much, Daisy. I appreciate it. We have to be trying to get all the products to your hands as uh, fast as possible. <laughs> Kushio was a galaxy. Maybe it's like nail art or oh, nail lovers galaxy. Is that what you're asking? So I'm using a no wipe top coat and I'm cleaning my brush and I'm using that with the black. So this is great for cleaning all of your gel brush. So I don't use any alcohols or acetone at all as it's gonna really ruin my brush. So I just using is a no pigment gel polish, which is, is no wet top coat and a matte top coat. 
so I clean it good. Move this one on the side right there. If you put rose gold, I imagine it, the rose gold gonna be really stunning though, because look at this. If you want to be not silver, so you can absolutely do rose gold. I'm so curious about this because it's gonna be really stunning. So now, we're gonna using a baby mix jars for this. Just a little bit. Obsidians. And this. Just a little bit. Condensed glue gels. So, keep in mind that too, you can have fun doing a lot of different like designs underneath, which is you can do fusionings, blossom gels, and chanfer foil, however you would like, and then you're doing your baby mix jars. It's fun to do that as well. And then I think it just fun, challenge yourself, and learnings along with us. We we'll learn so much from you, so thanks so much for sharing your beautiful work. And also you can do this and keep it at the salon and uh, for your clients to see. But unless you want a no wipe top coat, um, we can do the, uh, hold on, where's the, where am I? Oh, here, yeah, my okay. silver. So, okay, this is really cool though. So if you don't want a lot of glitter, just get just a little bit. Should we do glitter all the way? Sure. Do you want to try to blend some rosy on it? See how and see what it come out to. It might be a this is my Too opposite, much? huh? Mm -hmm. Because we have I like the look of this. This one might be cover my stuff, but you don't have to. It's so stunning, and then it dry. try to not cover anything it's just super cute and you want more black you add more blacks when you're doing um a blossom gel with the is it three of them i have this one right here i have this one this one i'm collecting my obsidians right now You know what? I might be able to do this funny one. Okay, you don't have to, but I will figure out that it's gonna be so much fun when I add some obsidians on it. I would try to not cover a lot of them. Just add some of obsidian's pieces, centerpiece from our baby mix jars. I'm so excited, Bella. Are you gonna submit a lot of them? 10 of them, 20 of them, doesn't matter. We can do it and have fun, have fun and good luck everyone. It's gonna be fun. You can do it on the swatches and then keep it for the clients, you know? And you can show them what you got. Doesn't matter, you can do a theme. It doesn't matter what theme you do. You can do it like Halloween theme to keep it for the simple for clients. Or if you are doing, if you have like a rubies and um, AB and blue, you can create that for is um, holidays coming. Christmas coming, so then it's like 
two in one you get contests fun and then you'll get that prepare for your clients hope everyone likes this one it's different i um been noticed that i'm been addicted to uh crystal placement and i look at my work bag and say why i can't be it's very like simple i got a lot of um funds and hearts for that so i even one of my mentors will say that nancy you will never be simple the ways you're doing your work on your design you love flashy you love so a lot of things that which is fine which is absolutely normal because you are who you are you can't be pretend that someone that being simple sometimes i was like this okay in spite i'm not gonna lie to you <laughs> i will tell you i was pretend i was not pretending i would try to like inspire from a lot of nail artists and all of you too i said oh my god it's so beautiful gorgeous i'm gonna try that look and guess what i want to sit in my stations and i start doing um inspire that look and guess what after i'm done uh i don't know if you'll be happy or not but it doesn't look like what picture is because i keep adding it on and i couldn't stop and i was so like fun with this like you would just get yourself lost into it and you didn't realize that you add so much crystal on it and it turned out good and it's just fun i don't know why okay so if you're happy with this hear this for 60 seconds and we're gonna do um precision glue together so i'm not going to lie to you and i try i try my heart to be it's really like simple this is car is really cool and simple to me and i'm so happy because i made it happen look at this, this couple lines with the dots and this today today is the nails is really like cool and low keys but i absolutely love it Maybe we should, when I we get up, the schedule is going to be up for different trainings and different tutorials daily. Maybe you should request for days that simple nails. So like, thank you so much, Kushio. Thank you, Dom. <laughs> it's Nene. <-nay. laughs> I don't know. I just like seeing it was little. My mom's will get me money to buy snack at school. That's why my kids are teasing me. She's so small because she didn't eat. Her mom give her money, and she spent it all on her stuff. I would get, I would get a lot of stuff like the craft stuff, and I go home and make the own like hair clipper and bows and give it to my friends. Or like when in high school, a lot of guys friends. Uh, really like some girls at school and they don't have enough money you know how high school kids is right so then they don't have enough money and they want to give their girls at the school like cute roses but then expensive when you go to like high school I don't know what the kids is nowadays was still uh, it's a lot of money so then I would make some of funds arts and give it to them so then they can go and give it to the girlfriends they're so happy. As I look at something I really want to do, I will spend hours after my homeworks and do all those fun things. And I, I don't quote myself as really like artistic, but I just love those things. So I, I um, did a lot of cool things. I braced a lot of like bracelet. I don't remember how to do it now. I don't know how. And I can mix like a whole entire... Um, what is that called the curtain hold on not the yes the curtains but then using um the little ribbons like a nylon ribbons i mean using it precision glue i don't know what is that material is called when i was little i have no idea i just know i go to the craft store and i got that and i can't make it like um it's whole entire curtains i put it together like thousand thousand of stars and I put it at the house for my parents. My dad is really happy. And I made some for my friends. I think I gave it to anything. I did it and then someone paid me uh, doing that. I was back in middle school. I remember it feel like it's weird. It's just, 
It will though. It's just all of a sudden it's come back to my memory now. Thanks everyone. So I'm checking all the edges. I don't need to using a lot. If my mom's here, maybe mom's not here, but she might remember. But it's fun though. It's after the school, you know, after I have my school time, I would go home and spend hours of it and then fun and doing it. And I think it's one year Christmas. I remember it was in um, middle school. And Christmas times, I love one of the wreaths out there. And they did so many uh, fancy, like, ornaments in there. I get a little bit of glue. So make sure you get it off before you key it first. You see that? Before you key it, you don't want to make take it away from your shine. So I really want something that's unique and different. I want a lot of ornaments. And then guess what? It was like, they don't have it, like, designed the way I wants it i want a lot in there cool things like um holy in there and a lot of fun things and i go to all the store they don't have it so i buy all the materials my mom gave me money so i spend it all on that one and you know and not because my wrist is super crazy expensive though because i put all the money in what i have but then i'm so proud of it, and then i just hang that like and that time is just like custom. It fun. It just I don't know why it's come back to my memory, but it's just fun to you know. I think it's just like a therapy so because I didn't really care like school a lot. I did it for my parents, got my college, but then I love to be crafting and stuff like this. I would spend hours of doing this kind of therapies after really like stressful hours. It's funny that I didn't remember any math at all until my oldest Emily going to school now and equations. And then I did it with her. It's weird though. It's me doing it different and she doing different. Oh, thanks so much, Guccio. I still have that bangle with Eric's. Oh, Eric's, you make it too. I don't know how to make I may be able to look at YouTube and then I might be able to see someone doing it. And then I don't remember why I stopped. I don't remember how to do it at all. I don't remember how to step doing it and techniques anymore. But it's like a right bicycle. If you if you notice that like you don't ride it for a long time. Or if you are doing it as the um, fun activity for you, then you already know. But then you don't ride bike like a bicycle for a long time doesn't mean you don't know how. You just need to like refresh your memory, I guess. So talking about that, okay, here's something is cool though. Doing this become uh, crucial. Did you ask a question that how I come up with some of these eyes? It's become, it just like become is a muscle memory. So whenever I'm holding crystal, I know exactly what I like to do, even though it turned out really not good. <laughs> but I know that, okay, I'm going to put my bigger centerpiece first and then I will lay any of like just thinking it this guys is your entree I just thinking like that I just remind this guys is entree and then this is gonna be your appetizers your dessert and maybe here's your drink here's like probably your like uh bloody mary or margaritas or whatever doesn't matter it's on rough or frozen so you get all of this right so it's a tiny little is maybe is donuts or the fries or whatever you want to call it just <laughs> i just seen that so that i don't want to miss it so just if you are using it it's just like train your brains it's really cool though it's just train your brains and automatically if i pick up my condensed glue gels my um no wet top coat and precision glue and my pickers and my uh, twin tip brush. That's how it just auto automatically is my brains will tell me, okay, Nancy, here. Sometimes I don't know how to stop. So that's why I need all of you in my life to tell me, no, 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 Nancy, it's good, good. Stop right there. Okay, good. So here this one. I have a little bit of the wax on that zones, but it's okay. We can wipe it off. So trust me, try that. I don't know is how it's worked for you, but it's worked for me so well. So look at this. Okay. So this is really my entree. Okay, the big entree. This one or whatever. And then you have your appetizers. 
all your desserts. So like if I have a smaller appetizers and I will have a big desserts like German chocolate cake or what is it called at the class? Is it chocolate to death? Uh, dead by chocolate. Dead by chocolate, like huge, a whole family can have that. So then maybe this one will be this. And then this to our entree. And this one can be some fries and donuts if they have it for you. So whatever you want. This one is different, okay? So this one probably is gonna be a little snack. Or um, appetizers, like sometimes Bessie and me just order a bunch of appetizers and then we just like nipplings on it. So this is not bad, you know? And sometimes you just go out for a drink only so you don't have to get an entree. So these two are just drink only. So that's what you're thinking. Yes, Nene, I think so. <laughs> that's, <laughs> that is just, oh, that's the salad. Good May City. Hello, love. Thanks so much for tuning in. Hey, Shaina, you absolutely can be watching them, love. We're going to save it on our IGTV and Facebook as well as on YouTube too so thank you so much everyone it's really cool and it's fun tonight and um eric you should show us um yeah eric are you doing a bracelet can you teach me as well i would love to so here's a look for tonight let me clean this one quick because i think i have my um uh, i think i have my uh, can i get some alcohol here, right here. I have my pickers wax residues on that, so it just make it look so dull. Nay, nay, you know, I'm telling you, it's better to talk about food instead of just scary, right? Now, talking about scary on that day or Saturday, I couldn't sleep, dude. I said, Oh my god, it's what talking about crits. Mama Vic, thank you so much. I hope you're really enjoying it tonight. And I'm so excited. Let me know what you would like to see. Let me know what you would like to see tomorrow. Today's really cool. It's simple. It's fun. This one, which one is your favorite though? I don't know. I like them all. This one is cool. They're all different. I can't pick. That's why I do four. But this one is cool. This one turned out really cool. However, you can change this one to be different, like orange. So then you can get this in a the theme of Halloween or fall, as a matter. May see that you want to save your nails at the end. Your, your set. Oh, my set. Right here. Yeah. Before the flowers, some part. Okay, do you want to be doing it fun? Some um, cool question today that one of my really sweet clients asked. Should I say it or not? If you want to, why not? Okay, so it's this just, fun. it's fun of the day. All right, so today is one of my sweet, sweet clients who asked Nancy. Because when I'm doing her nails, is some of my butterflies was picking on her. I think she's really cool. It's really awesome. It's really sweet and loyal clients. We said, Nancy, we talk, we talk, 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 and all different like, uh, fun topics and about hurricanes and everything. And then she said, Nancy, I have a question. Like, so serious. Her face is so serious. And then she was like, I have a question, but you don't have to answer it. So I said, okay, just tell us. My 3D is holding good. I'm still working. And this one, I just knock it off. Okay, so here's the thing. She was asking, okay, so you don't have to answer me if you feel you don't like. So then she said, okay. So, how you and your husband are making love with all these nails? And then we both laughing so hard. And you know what my answer is? <laughs> I 
I said, here's China's right here. I said, you know what, Miss Anne's? What's the question? Okay, so she asking, Nancy, you don't have to answer this. Here's my question is, how you and your husband is making love with those nails so sharp? So we both laughing. And I said, Miss Anne, guess what I'm gonna do? That's what happened to us. And we were just talking about that a couple of days ago. Me and he was look at each other and laugh so hard. What? <laughs> it's this crucial. It's just, you come back into the right time. And then, oh, you have some asked me. <laughs> I said, what is your, what's your answer? Yeah, it's called 3D loss. So, so I said, you know what, Miss Anne? What I do, I just put my hands up and he can do whatever he wants. It doesn't affect anything at all. And then she was laughed so hard. And you had to see her face. She said, oh my God, Nancy. I was like, it's just, I'm dead. That's it. <laughs> so that's all he can do because it's like a weapon. You can't use it. So don't use it. When you have a hot date, you don't use it. Because... <laughs> It's called Kati Sasla Lala. So it's okay, my hands is up. I'm not touching anything. You can do whatever you want. <laughs> so to protect my nails, because otherwise I'm messing up my flowers and I am not gonna do that. <laughs> so that is a good question of the day. No hands, I know. <laughs> it's fun. So the the um she's laughing and then she's oh my god. I'm dead, Nancy. I'm so glad that you ladies, like she see all different nails when I come in and then she was really simple and stuff. She see my nails and then she would do something that's cute on it, put some crystal on the short nails. So you never know even the client's doing really cool and cute, and like really simple, would get some crystal on like some fancy, cute, simple. She would do something like that on her short nails. So Thank you, Bella. I know, so it's so much fun. And we're definitely gonna see you. <laughs> so I don't know if any of you got stopped by someone who asking or your clients who asking the same questions. I don't know what your answer is gonna be because this is sharp. This little cute butterflies. I think it's just feeling at first it's sharp too. But after that, it feels really nice and smooth because the first time, I put it on, I feel like it's new. So it just take me like a couple hours to use it with that. And it's short. Hey, pull over, question Q&A, Sunday, yes. <laughs> now when I'm doing it, I'm thinking. <laughs> I stick, I'm gonna stick with no hands. <laughs> Absolutely. Oh my God. Is this is fun? I, it's just a lot of fun questions that clients are asking because they was curious how I do and I work a lot too. And um, I do dishes, I clean too. I do normal thing like a lot of us. You think, you think that I don't do anything but opposite, I do a lot because I can't sit still though. Um, that's why when I do think I can't, like it was remember well, last week I couldn't go live for two days. It's just my really therapies and ha like kind of a, I was kind of my downtime. I have to say because if you're doing a daytime, I all over places, and my brains, my DNA's go all over places. So it's really cool to get really get me and help me to sit down and really focus and stay focused on it. A lot of my mentor were training me in so many classes. You said Nancy. If you can't able to focus on it, you can do it. Because sometimes I was really want to give up. Like if I'm doing a, a painting on portraits and everything, take a long time, hour to learn. I couldn't focus. It's hard, like everybody is, all of us, it's different. Um, so we're all learning and we all do things differently, which is unique. So do you know, or one of the really cool things, I didn't know, but I know now, it's from all the coaches and the teaching, um, Every single of us, if you believe or not, pay attention on this, what I'm saying, because it's absolutely true. And I want every single of you to be, first of all, believe in yourself. And you are absolutely unique. 
every single of us, none of us are, you know, is like uncompatible with anybody else. We are as who we are, as we are unique in different way. So every single of us here can do one thing better than a thousand people out there. So like for instance, anything in your life. So that's why we have all different field in different professional field. We can't be a doctor because then probably we're doing in a medical school, we might stop in the middle because it's not, it's for us, right? So, so do not feel like sometimes I know we all like really tired of work, from work, exhausted kids, family, everything else on the top of it it will make us really want to quit to give up and if you like don't have anybody's around or family around or something that you look forward to it you was like really feel tired and want to give up everything so so keep in mind you are diamonds look at the diamonds if you study about diamonds and or like in the stones particularly any natural stones, none of them are identical. The same with our fingerprint and our DNA. So everything was to being like supposed to be unique. Taking me to the church. <laughs> you can see it in a real person. Like, look, if you like to do crystal placement or like a gel painting. Or like say with Dom love about gel painting, Dom do it. Eric will show us what he likes to do. So absolutely like it. You know, it's to feel proud of you are who you are. So absolutely. So if you're thinking of something that you would like to create, um, just think about like even like one day you see that it's going to be a crap day. But guess what? Tomorrow is going to be a next day and a brand new day. So if you feel like we're upset or sad or something you do, at works like all the set of nails you turn out doesn't look good or something has happened that kids didn't make you happy just take a deep breath get listen to a nice song one of the favorite song or watching any of movie to calm you down or sit down and do a couple of nails like me i have a different way to doing that i will either listen to music or i will be watching some uh episodes one episodes at a time and then i'll do some beautiful nails or i study something about uh, products or anything so then it's calming down so then I can handle a lot of things better so just fun faxing so just want to make sure and to share the message to all of you you are wonderful every single of you yep China we are unique in a different way so do not compare us to anybody else because and you are unique so no comparables Thank you, everyone. Thank you, Kushios. You know, Dom, I can't wait. Because watching Dom doing her painting, it's really cool. Because some things that Dom can really like doing it cool and that. She did today's live video. I was quite missing it. But I was watching them. Stunning. You did incorporate your, um, your dramatic glitter, which is a, a designer's. And then she did her Chan Pafoy and her stickers all together. Really cool. That's a part two, right, Dom? Thank you, Nene. Thank you, thank you, May CD. Loving those gems today, don't know. Yes, absolutely. You know what? The smile and the happiness and the peaceful, it doesn't cost us anything. But if you're seeing it, it's fun with the law of attractions, I learned that too. When you feel like it's beginning of the day, you feel like you are not doing great and you're crappy, you get a lot of emotionals, then it's going to make you whole day to become really negative. So sometimes I'm not going to lie to you, I have that. I'm not going to say that perfect every single day, but I will take a deep breath. And I was like, okay, if what is make me to be happy? And like, well, I would go and get myself a coffee, cup of coffee, or something that I like, or a smoothie to just make me happy. Something that I can see in it. Or if you, I can't, and like just go sit down and do a, one of the nail designs. 
or listening to music, whatever will make you happy at that time, think about, think one thing, and it will make you feel so much better. If you have a sip of coffee in the morning, it'll make you feel good, or tea, or whatever you feel like you like, what you like. Or even like if you want to see, if you like feel like you like shopping, you couldn't get something that you want to this week, then go window shopping, go online, go to the website you like, whatever, clothes, website, shoes, websites, whatever, or even jewelry. To just browse through it, to have just releasing why it just make you feel really um, stressed or not happy, just start of the day. So, yep, the attractions laws never fail, right? So, it's really fun. So try that, and then you will be like so much release, and it's fun. Yes, law of law, attraction law, law of attractions. Yep. So if you feel like you're really cranky and it's really upset or negative a day, you feel that. So it's just, just for fun, this is just my personal experience that I share. Just like it worked great for me and I learned that so much. Control your happiness. And even the hardest time to happiness. To yes, absolutely. That's your own choices. That is our own choices. You can be sad. You can be happy. You can be upset. However you want. So absolutely you make a decision and your choices. Weaver gels and 40 gels. Weaver gels and like a spider gels. And 40 gel is like a paste that so you can build the, kind of the flowers like this, like a 40 or a flat 3Ds. Yes, absolutely crucials. You're watching horror movie? I need you to watch it with me because I was so scared by watching that. <laughs> yes, scripting it's better word. So, don't forget to check out of the um, baby mix jar contest, and you have whole month to have fun with this. And don't forget to tag us at Glitz Assistant and Such, hashtag us at Glitz Assistant and Such, and hashtag a Glitz Contest, so then we can see your beautiful uh, work. And also make sure you tag one of your bestie in there in your post. You can post so many posts, ten, twenty different posts, and then the winner will be winning of our newest collections of um, baby meat jars in the newest packaging jar, so cute. And also, it's special is autumn sales, fall sales, 20% off a lot, up to 20% off a lot of products. So check that one out if you need to stock up for your Christmas or for your, um, you know, still time for Halloween. And so a lot of others. Two, you need to refill your tools, which is your glue gels, um, your top coat, anything else, anything you're thinking of, something that you haven't get chance to get it to try it out, check it out on our website, goodsassistingsuch.com. And if you have any questions, you absolutely can um, send us DMs with questions, or you can um, email us at info at goodsassistingsuch.com. <coughs> Oh my God, Eric's just, please keep us when, Eric's, when are you going live? I miss it. I didn't get to see it though. So. Thank you, Mama Vic. Yes, I will see you tomorrow. Stay safe, everyone. I love you all. And it will be Sunday at 7 Mountain Standard Time. Did I get it right? right? 7.30 in the evening, Sunday. Absolutely. We're looking forward to that. Great. So 9.30 of Eastern Time was Eric's going live. 6.30 Pacific. That's fabulous. Okay. Yeah, was Eric sent us a message too? You did, probably. Yes, stay safe, everyone. Eric, I'm so excited. I'm looking forward to that. Hey, Janice. 
Okay, Selma, thank you, thank you. Love likes Mimosa. Sunday is the next time you go live. Is that question for Eric or is it question for me? Yep, we'll be watching. Yes, okay, perfect, awesome. Yes, I will go in live again tomorrow. Tomorrow is Thursday and I will do live on Friday, Saturday as well. And maybe or someone will ask you on Sunday. So it's Q&A. So we are arranging a lot of different um, content now. So we'll keep you all posted. Yes, this contest is going to be Baby Meet Jar contest. It's on the post. Uh, now let's check that out. It's going to be so much fun. And hey, Barbie, thanks so much. You catch us on the last, um, on the end. So if you miss it, you can absolutely be watching them from our IGTV. So I will see you tomorrow, everyone. I love you all. Please stay safe. And have a good night, everyone. Love you all. Bye-bye.